Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And there was an announcement with Paginated Reports. I missed it, but it was the introduction of Drill Through and Paginated Reports. And if you remember, to set up Drill Through, you need to do URL parameters and stuff like that. And not that it didn't work, it just required a little tinkering to get it to work. Now, it's just a native feature in Paginated Reports. I have to do a video on it. So enough of all this talking, you know what I like to do? Let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So the first thing you need to do before you set up Drill Through, even if you're using the old way, you need to create both your reports and publish them out to the service, the report you're drilling from and the report you're drilling to. The primary difference between these typically is the report you're drilling to will definitely have parameters. The report you're drilling from, maybe. So this is the report I'm drilling from. And then on the report I'm drilling to, you'll see it has two parameters, okay? And then in the original method, what you would do is you would find the column that you want your report consumers to click, right click on that text box, and then go to text box properties, and then look for action. And then what you would have done initially before drill through came out was to go get the report URL and then specify the URL parameters. Not a bad approach, it worked, but this can be a little daunting getting URLs, URL parameters, stuff like that. You got to remember the syntax. But with this new capability, it's a little easier. Let me show you. Instead of choosing go to URL, you would choose go to report. And what you would do is type the name of that report here. Could this be easier? Yes. Listen to me, paginated team. Once I'm authenticated for a workspace, give me a drop down box of all the paginated reports that's available and I just can choose it. But for now, we'll, we'll take the type and once you type it in, you click add your parameters. So I have two parameters. One is calendar year. If you're not sure of the parameter name, just go back to the original report and you can see there's a parameter name, calendar year, any month number. And so I go back to the other report, click add, but just like that, right? So type the name of the two parameters and then click the drop down and choose where you're getting the value from. So I'm getting the value from calendar year and I'm getting the value from month num. And then I click OK. If you try to test this while you're in the report builder, it's going to tell you, hey, you can't test this while you're in report builder. You need to publish this out to the service. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose publish. So I'm going to choose this, but I'm going to add just a just so we can have two different versions of this, just in case I want to show both in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish and then click OK. I'm going to head over to the workspace where I published these out and let me click refresh. Oh, I think it did it on its own. So there's two reports here. The original one that uses the URL, but this one uses a new drill through approach. I'm going to go ahead and click this. It's going to load my report up and now I can say, all right, let's go 2021, expand this out. You see my hyperlink. You can see, hey, let's go see what happened in December, right? This is my biggest month. I click it. It's generating a report. It's coming from with drill to my product details. And you can see it's December. If I click right here, you can see here's all the details about where I came from. What do you think? This definitely makes it easier than constructing the URL with the parameters in it. I know you still got to type. It'd be great to get the drop downs and the validation and everything, but I got to believe that's coming. But this is the first look. As soon as they release and update it, I'll do an updated video. All right. What do you think? You got any questions? You got any comments? Are you using this already? Love to know. You know what to do. Post it in the comments below. If you want to know more about paginated reports, this is going to be a video flying above my head. And as always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.